Okay, change in game plan. I originally was going to try what they call a speed fit CRT, and that's one that has all this hardware already installed. You just bolt it up. However, due to my, you know, exuberance, I guess, I was so excited about doing that, I didn't bother to re realize that this TV is a 20Y and the speed fit was designed for a 20X, and this hardware just does not work. You got to use all this stuff for it to work right. So, it just doesn't it just doesn't fit in there properly. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this all this hardware off and install it on this, which is your generic non-speed fit uh, CRT. It's just a regular old CRT. It was rebuilt by Video Display Corp back in the day. It tests great. So hopefully I'll be able to remove all the hardware off of this and get it all back together and try again. Anyway, I'm getting too big a hurry. So anyway, we're going to be doing this and I'll come back when I get all the hardware bolted back onto the new CRT. More to come. Thanks for watching. Okay, just going to record. I've removed the, the magnetic shield. Next we're going to do is undo these springs down here. Comes off there, there, there. Note that this screw is up on the top. There, there, and I think that should let me release this yoke, although I think it uses double-sided sticky tape to help center it up, so I'll probably have to fight with that. Get back in just a little bit. Okay, so what we've done here is I used some pliers, and I just pulled these, un unhooked all four of these from around the yoke. Okay, so now hopefully that yoke will just come off without too much drama. Let's see if we can just kind of kind of pull up on it. Oops, no, it's on there pretty good. Alright, you're going to be tough. So it's glued on there. I'm going to have to get something to really work that. Well, I'll come back to that. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll work on this wire strap here. Loosen this. This is the main thing that really retains this. You notice I still have all the springs on the corners. Sorry. I gotta remember this little cardboard piece here is there to protect the like. protect the CRT I guess from any kind of a trauma from that nut. So that's an important piece to remember. So pull that out. And these things probably just pull out. Let me go ahead and see what happens here. Here we go. Do that. We'll do this. We'll go over here. Get this one. I don't really want these things. I don't want to lose anything here. I'm just going to leave it in place for now. And get this one loose. Right. Right, right there. Let's we'll just do that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and disconnect them so we don't have to re get them lost because they're going to have to come out of the way probably to get the CRT to come out. Okay. And what we can do, we can just hang it right here. That's even a better idea. There we go. You know, I don't think there's any real hard or fast rules about how this is supposed to work. So, I'm just going to kind of freestyle here. My favorite word. Let's see how this one's working. And it goes like this, so I'm just going to unhook it if I can, get it out, work it out. And I guess it goes like that. One more here. That one's like that. So I'll just take that one like that too. Okay, so now not much holding off. If I get that yoke out, I think I can pull the, the whole TV out. In fact, I should have lifted it off anyway. But we'll go ahead go ahead and stop and come back to this. I gotta loosen these up and get this come loose, so 
we'll, re we'll resume when, once I got that yoke loose. That's all for now. Okay, so we got the yoke. I just kind of worked the spree. So I'm going to leave the yoke inside all these little controls here to set it up. Just like I can mess with those. And you just kind of gently lit, push it over, and it should just come out of the top. There's the yoke. Put the yoke down. Now you'll notice I tried to keep all the orientation pretty much the same here. So like that's the top, top, top. That's just so I don't get too confused. Here's a done CRT. So this is going to be put away now. I'm going to get the fresh CRT out of that box, put it up here, and then we'll just reverse the process and put everything back together. That's it for now. Cut. Okay, I just put the tuner back in. I took the tuner out because clearly there's a bit of a space issue here. There's no reason to fight it. Uh, there's only four screws around here. I took those out. Uh, I actually just loosened those and they fit over a larger hole you put in and you let it drop down. I'm going to now be re replacing the uh, antenna pad here. Do that. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Not a big deal. I left everything connected up. You know, it just saves time. I'm going to unplug wires and reconnect wires all over the place. It takes time. So everything stayed hooked up. This little piece here, this little cardboard piece, is supposed to dress the wires. It's busted a long time ago. I'm just going to use the pressure of the backing the hold in. Tighten that up. That screw is a little stripped. Probably good to have that thing in there. Um, see if we can get a little better grip on that. I probably need to get a slightly longer screw here. There it goes. Okay. So this is good to go. This is dressed out. We get these wires. I think this dresses through here. Uh, I got to get the AFC wire, which was comes off a switch, which I have dressed over here temporarily. This all goes down in here, here, here. All this stuff will get dressed into this little wiring loom here, along with this. I believe that's the way it all goes, just like that. So I'll be dressing all that together. And then we'll be able to slip the new chassis in and give it, a sh give it a shot. I just want to show you the tuner going back in. More in a little bit. Okay, so what I've done now is I've dressed all the connections to go to the chassis. Through this little twist tie here. Take the it's a strain relief, basically. I've got the uh, degaussing leads here. I've dressed up the uh, convergence leads through that little strain leaf twist tied there. Uh, I've got the audio leads down here. Convergence plug. The one thing I want to make note of is this ground strap which connects up to one of the screws, one of the screws on the uh, CRT mount. And this basically grounds the uh, DAG, the outer uh, conductive coating on the CRT through this spring, through this shield, through that scra strap, through this strap and the chassis that's firmly against this so basically that's what grounds the CRT. If you didn't do that eh, the whole CRT um, could become electrically charged uh, which would be a bad thing the first time you touched it. I don't know if there's a ground anywhere else through the system that might take care of that but I doubt it. I think that's the reason it's, this is there and you might start getting arcing and weird stuff going on, but a good ground there is, is imperative to make sure you have a uh, make sure that straps back in place. It's an easy thing to kind of misplace and forget about, but everything's hooked up now. We're uh, slipped the uh, chassis back in. I really like the Zenus with the plug-in parts. I mean, they're a little bit of a problem because I think the one that goes to this, the mating side of this, the uh, is broken on the chassis, so. Putting it on is not a problem, but pulling it out is a problem. The uh, the lugs that, that the chassis mount, I'll, I'll see if I can get a video of that. Plus, I'm going to see if I can't find something and fix that because I don't like things not being right. So I might need to do a little bit of refurbishment on the chassis, or I might just get lazy and just go with it. But yeah, we're almost there. It's coming along nicely. 
all the dressings done. That's important. Get all that back the way it was. And these things kind of just want to go in the right spot anyway, so it's kind of nice. You, you know when it's working because everything just kind of fits. But you want to have it kind of neat. And while you're in here, you might want to go ahead and clean out some of the junk. I'll probably get the back out here and get the hose and suck out some of this loose stuff floating around just so it doesn't rattle around. Although that's kind of a waste of time really, so probably won't do it. More later. Here we have the new CRT installed. Uh, it's very bright. I got a little bit of a purity problem here I'm going to try to work on. And then here too. But not real noticeable, but it's but it is to me. Uh, let's try the color control. There's color maxed out. Here's your tint range. It's, ooh, that tint looks weird, but it's, it's it's correct in real life. I don't know why it looks yellow there. Let's go ahead and adjust the uh, brightness some. All the way down, you can still see a little bit coming through. Turn it all the way up. Contrast. Wow. Oof. Yikes. Anyway. That's it all done. Uh, you can see a little bit of the purity problem i got to work out there. I don't know why it looks weird, that color. I wish I can get the color to look right on the... Uh, uh, anyway, there we go. Anyway, there it is with the new CRT. Hope you enjoy it.